The World Health Organization, WHO, said it has dispatched a team of epidemiologists to the scene of the latest death to investigate. The victim was married to an Ebola survivor. North Kivu Provincial Minister of Health, Eugene Nzanzu Selita, said they were investigating if the latest case is linked to a previous outbreak. The town of Botembo was not spared, especially since the patient had traveled from Mwenye to Botembo. She was buried in Musienene. It could happen because we know that she was the wife of an Ebola survivor. So it could happen. So we're here. People should stay calm and measures should be respected. Botembo and Beni in Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo were the epicenters of a previous outbreak that ran from August 1st, 2018 to June 25, 2020 that killed more than 2,000 200 people. Ebola hemorrhagic fever was first identified in 1976 after scientists probed a string of unexplained deaths in what is now northern DRC. The symptoms are severe, high fever and muscle pain followed by vomiting and diarrhea, skin eruptions, kidney and liver failure, internal and external bleeding. The average fatality rate from Ebola is around 50%. But this can rise to 90% for some epidemics, according to WHO. The virus that causes the disease is believed to reside in bats.